Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be cooking up cedar plank salmon on my Ironworks Santa Maria grill from Sentara Pro using the Versa lid. Let's get going. So here are the salmon fillets that I'm cooking up today, and each one of these is just a little over one pound. You want to make sure that this fish has not been frozen and thawed, and a way of telling is to just take your finger and push into the meat and release, it should spring back. If it's been frozen and thawed out, that, that depression from your finger is going to stay there and it's going to actually fill with water. Another thing is smell. There shouldn't be a really strong fishy smell. It should just smell kind of very clean, kind of oceany, briny. Now the cedar plank technique I'm going to show you is my favorite way of doing salmon. And I've made this for people who swore up and down that they hated salmon and they actually loved this dish. So it's, in my opinion, the best way to cook salmon. Cedar planks uh, just add such a nice flavor. I'm going to season these very, very simply. Just some kosher salt. A lemon here, and I'm just going to grate on a little bit of the zest. Get a lot of lemony flavor from the zest. And the nice thing about this technique, the cedar planking, is this fleshy part of the, of the salmon here is not going to come in direct contact with the heat. So the oils from this lemon zest are just going to really make this taste great. I mean, again, it's gonna give it a nice fresh lemony flavor. Here are my cedar planks. I soaked these cedar planks in water for probably about an hour or so, which is important. It just kind of helps slow down the burn on these pieces of wood. And you can buy these cedar planks online. You can buy them at a lot of you know barbecue stores will have them. Uh, some markets will have them. Or you can make your own. Just make sure that if you are sourcing your own wood and cutting the planks that you're using wood that has not been treated with, you know, like some type of pesticide to keep termites from eating them. Even though cedar, I guess, is pretty resistant to insects. Let's go ahead and get over to the grill. So I know earlier you saw me put the fish on the wood. I don't know why I did that. The thing I like to do first is sterilize the surface of the wood that's actually going to have the food on it. So I've got the, these are face down now, and I'm gonna lower these down towards the coals. I'm using lump charcoal for this cook. And I'm just going to kind of preheat these. And again, we're just kind of sterilizing the surface of the wood right now. I think that's going to be good. Now we'll get that Versalid in place. And I'm gonna leave these down here close to the coals just initially. I wanted to get it to where the wood will start smoking, but I wanna keep it to where it's not going to burst into flames. So usually you'll hear a pop, the wood pop, and then I'll raise the grate up. I can already see it starting to smoke a little bit. Right, the wood is smoking really well. It's crackling just a little bit, so I'm going to raise this up. And I'm just going to keep it right there for now. So at this point, it's just a really easy cook. Monitoring the wood, making sure it's smoking but not bursting into flames. But right now, it's, it's smoking good, smelling great. All right, the fish has been cooking for about 25 minutes, and they are done. So let's get the grate raised up here away from the heat. And let's take a look at these fillets. Just look at the color of these things. Beautiful. So there's a couple ways of checking for doneness on your fish. One way is to take you know, a couple forks and just open it up to see if it's looking how you want it to be. I know a lot of people like medium rare salmon. Me personally, although I love sashimi, I love sushi, I love seared fish, I like salmon done through. So. I'm using a thermometer. I just popped it in there and I'm pulling it at 140. Um, medium would probably be more 130, 135. But again, I like it 140. The nice thing about this technique is although it is cooked through, 
you'll see it's going to be ridiculously moist. Scrape it off. Now let's see how we did. Salmon's plated up and just look at this color. It is so, no, it's impossible to achieve this color just grilling conventionally. That VersaLid just crushed it. Now, the whole point of the VersaLid is to add versatility to this open cooking platform, like the Santa Maria grills, the Argentine grills. And again, this is my favorite method for cooking salmon, planking them. Normally what I would do is cook it, you know, in a kettle with the lid on. This was my first time doing it on the Santa Maria with the Versa lid. Having used the Versa lid a lot, I was very optimistic with it, but I was a little worried about the wood, the, the planks getting to a temperature where it would flash. It never did. It never burst into flames. There was no fire at all. They got extremely hot, I mean, to where, you know, they were cooking the salmon through the planks up. The smoke was obviously staying inside the lid. Perfect. This is going to be my go-to way from now on, on um, either the Argentine or the Santa Maria grill. So let's see how we did here. Um, you'll see, again, this is cooked through and through. However, it's going to be extremely juicy. I, I can tell you that for a fact, even the thinner parts here. So look at that, steaming away. Let's see how we did here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that. Just so, so juicy. Again, you know, the nice thing about salmon is it has all that fat in there. I don't know if you can hear that rooster crowing. It is actually morning for me when I'm, I'm this is my breakfast. So I'm very, very excited about this. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, make sure you please hit that red button, ring the notification bell, thumb up the video if you like it. I hope you did. I have links down below for these fantastic Sentara products. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.